I'm sure you've heard of the word basilica as referred to the church. The basilica of St. Peter's. It's a Latin word that has three very important meanings. And this is where the word actually comes from. It means a tribunal chamber of a king, where decisions are made, a law court, or lastly, a special church. How many of you realize the word basilica really means to rule? The church is not meant to be subservient to society, it's meant to rule society. The church should rule with truth and it should speak truth into society and it shouldn't be intimidated. We shouldn't be intimidated by people's opinions and by their philosophies. Are you permitting your mouth to be silenced? Are you permitting your opinions to be treated as foolish? Or are you speaking into South Africa, into our world and shaping it? You've got a responsibility and you have got a part to play. So I wanna give you 10 principles this morning that we need to apply if we're gonna play our part in reshaping South Africa. Number one, the first thing we must do is we must not seek shallow solutions. Radio talk shows, people phone in and they're all giving their opinion day after day after day. This country does not need more talk. It doesn't need more headspace. It needs heart change. And we need divine solutions. We need a change on the inside that's gonna to lead to a change on the outside. It's gonna take all the faith and all the commitment we've got to build South Africa. We've bred a violent, angry society and it's not just gonna change by some parliamentary bill that gets passed. It's gonna change when the hearts of people change. And we need divine intervention. Number two, the second thing we need to do is this. We must influence all sectors of our society. We cannot just have great church services and big church buildings where we have brilliant music and great programs. We need to be in the key areas of society where we can make a difference. Number three, the third thing we must do is we must remove an attacking spirit. Our nation has become aggressive and angry and all we do is attack. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. In Matthew chapter five and verse nine in the message translation, it says you're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. And we mustn't be people who attack whites, attack blacks, Asians or coloreds or anything. We must deal with issues. In parliament, when an issue is an issue, it needs to be dealt with. But opposition parties have got to be careful because all they do is attack. The question is when they get in, can they rule? Because there's a big difference between an attacking spirit and a building spirit. Yeah. Number four, the fourth thing here, is don't live in your memory, live in your imagination. When you live in your memory, you replay the past. But when you live in your imagination, you preplay the future. When you live in the future and you preplay your dreams, you live with hope. You have a choice this morning, you can live with hurt or you can live with hope. Listen, your memory will always take you back to your divorce, to segregation, to unfair treatment, to past laws. We can't live there. Start dreaming about a better South Africa. Amen. Number five, the first thing we need to do is this, and this is so important this morning, church, is alcohol and drugs are never an answer to our challenges. When you are facing financial challenges, marital challenges, poverty challenges, you cannot resort to taking drugs and using alcohol. When you wake up after you've been drunk or high, your problems are bigger than before you started. You know, our church doesn't teach that you shouldn't drink alcohol at all or have a little bit of wine. The Bible teaches that. But when you start using it and you believe that a liquid or a substance is the answer to your problems, you're heading down a dangerous road. Look what scripture says in 1 Peter 5 and verse 8. Be alert and of sober mind. Why? Because your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Listen, if you're having problems with poverty, you're having problems with health, you're having problems with marriage, the worst thing you could do is add to it. You're giving the devil exactly what he wants and your life is gonna be devoured. You will never build a strong country with a high rate of alcoholism. We need to start putting it aside and thinking clearly.